Hi, I'm Dawn Edwards, Development Manager for All One Housing. You may remember this time last year, we did you a video to show you the sites that we had under construction at the time. Uh, this was because we couldn't show people around in person due to COVID restrictions. But we got really good feedback and we recognised that we could reach a wider audience. So we've decided to do it again this year. So this is to introduce to you a video that the development team have put together to showcase the work of the sites that are currently under construction. We really hope you enjoy it and we look forward to showing you the completed homes at a later date. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to our multi-phased development in Cockfield, known locally as Jeffreys Green. Our contractor is SEH French Construction, utilising a timber frame structural method. Architect Rhys Pryor selected a diverse range of appearances. You will see both red and buff brick accompanied by coloured panels of render. Phase 1 completed in May 2021 with 12 affordable rented and 4 shared ownership units, with Phase 2 offering 11 open market homes of varying sizes due for handover in March 2022. Furthermore, we have partnered with Baber and Mid Suffolk District Council to provide 3 bungalows on their behalf. Orwell has permission for an additional 13 open market dwellings and Suffolk County Council will be providing serviced plots for self-builders. Overall, the scheme provides a great mixture of tenures, aiding the housing needs of Cockfield. Hi, I'm Kelly from Development and these are our three new supported living bungalows in Harkstead, Suffolk. The bungalows are being developed adjacent to the existing barn that we already own as supported accommodation. With funding from Suffolk County Council and Homes England, we're able to provide these properties as additional accommodation for those that are able to live more independently or may require sleep-in staff arrangements. Needhams have made great progress on site and we hope to have these completed in January 2022. This is our development site at the old police station in Leyston. We purchased the police station on the 13th of March 2020, days before the pandemic hit. Despite this, we still managed to get our contractor, Brooks and Wood, onto site to build seven new build properties and refurbish the existing police station into six flats, all of which are for affordable rent. Building during a pandemic definitely doesn't come without obstacles, but despite material and labour shortages, we're still on target to complete in January 2022. This Homes England funded development was previously a redundant shop site located adjacent to the Ring Road in central Lower Stoft. Purchased via a negotiated contract with local contractor Wellington Construction Limited, it is now being developed into 31 one bedroom flats over two and three storeys at a cost of £3.8 million. Residence parking will be located in the central courtyard area. The development will be known as Prospect House once completed. Completion is programmed currently for November 22. Tucked away in a sleepy street in the centre of Bray St Edmunds are three shared ownership properties being constructed by Elliston, Steady and Hawes. All three houses are two bedroom, four person properties and each property has a private rear garden and off-road parking. All three properties are being constructed on what was formerly a car park. This scheme is due to be completed within the next couple of months. <laughs> 